What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Arcway, home of Ben's Wear and Styling. My name is Tulu. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys some of the best puffer jackets that I've experienced and also that I researched. Everything from luxury wear to everyday wear. So there's something in there for you. So if this is the video you're looking for, you have found it. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys do yourself a favor by subscribing down below. Or hit that thumbs up on this video and check out Arcway.com because I'll be dropping exclusive newsletters, exclusive content, and also day-to-day -day updates behind the scenes if you guys are ready for this video let's go so all right so i got an alphabetical tier system here and everything ready ranging from double s down to f grade so don't take anything personally i swear these type of videos will be controversial because everyone has their own opinions and it's always a biased belief system here but i'm gonna try to be unbiased as possible but from my own experience i'm gonna give you guys the best uh, reference points when it comes down to these brands okay let's dive into it All right, so first company I'm gonna talk about is Mango Men. So Mango comes from Spain. So what I like about Mango Men is that they have a Spanish take on fast fashion. So everything from H&M to Zara and so on, Banana Republic. So not only that being a fresh take, but they cater it to the audience of the demographic. So you're gonna experience places that are, have a lot more hotter climates, but at the same time, they do have stores globally, especially in Europe as well. So they cater out to the European audience as well. So if you're on a budget and you look for a quality puffer jacket, I recommend you guys check out Mango Men because they do have some phenomenal options. At the same time, they have different versions and styles that you guys can check out. So I'm gonna put Mango Men in the F category because we are in a seat to finding the best puffer jackets. Next one on the list is Lululemon. I've talked about Lululemon before when it came down to athletic wear and the leisure. But when it comes down to puffer jackets, I have experienced puffer jackets in person before. And I gotta say, definitely has downfield involved in it and it has that goose feathers, which we all know and love, which is really important when it comes down to winter jackets. I won't rank this any higher where the point I'm putting it at because they're not really specific in winter uh, materials. So for me, even though it actually holds up, it does justice. I, I like companies that actually focus on winter jackets specifically. If you're looking for something on a budget yet again, I have to put this in the E category because it does have nice designs. It does have nice styles, but at the same time, nice colorway. So they have multiple options. So next brand on my list is Stussy. If you guys haven't heard about Stussy before, coming from the surf and skateboard culture, Stussy has emerged throughout the eighties up until the nineties until today's time. And it's still this worldwide renowned brand. It Amongst many people. So, but Stussy is that tribalistic brand where it's really funky, really different, and Stussy kind of associates with my lifestyle when it comes down to skateboarding and just being different with my own style. Stussy actually makes and produces some interesting jacket designs. Um, I've seen them many times on the website before, really funky looking colors, and they'll, they'll actually downfield as well. So, whether it be whatever season you're in, they actually have something for that. In terms of puffer jackets, price points can be a little higher than the rest. One, obviously, brand recognition. Two, sources of quality. And at the same time, it's Stussy, so brand recognition. So I'm gonna to have to put Stussy in the D category. So next one on the list is Heli Hansen. Heli Hansen is a raincoat company based in Vancouver. I Me mean, not only being from the West Coast, I actually got Heli Hansen way back when, but when it comes down to puffers, I gotta see what they're really more about. But, but from my experience of raincoats, it really helped me up when I really needed it. Uh, with the puffers, I won't see it being much different from an Arteryx or a Columbia, but Heli Hansen definitely is specialized in the outdoor environment. So I'm going to put that in the C category. The next one on the list I'm going to put in the C category while I'm here is Arteryx. Arteryx has grown throughout the years, but at the same time, it started getting this brand recognition amongst people and especially the TikTokers. So it's funny how it kind of happens, but I guess fashion does come in every five years. But I guess that's just how it goes when it comes down to fashion and companies. But Arteryx has picked up speed and, and they are well known within the Instagram community with a lot of the like, styles and designs and how people put them together. So you'll see everyone wearing them from basic fits to streetwear fits, to gothic fits, to preppy fits as well. So Arteryx has been hitting the streets with a girl of marketing of their company. But at the same time, when it comes down to puffer jackets, I'll have to put in a C category amongst Heli Hansen and a few others. But essentially, I feel like it could be a little bit overpriced for the price point for what it is. But hey, 
it is what it is. Next one on the list is Patagonia. I've talked about Patagonia before when it came down to fleeces, but when it does come down to the outdoor environment companies. So I have to put Patagonia in the B category because they do focus on outerwear. At the same time, they focus on eco-friendly environments. So they want to produce materials and items that essentially are eco-friendly to the people and the environment. So next thing on the list has to be Montclair. So I personally look for companies that focus on craftsmanship, that focus on design, that focus on material use, that focuses on sustainability. And Montclair is one of many brands I'm talking about. Montclair is an amazing company at the same time. I have to put in the A category. Um, Montclair has amazing looks. It's fashionable. At the same time, when you wear that jacket, I'm telling you, you probably won't take it off. But when it does come down to price point, yes, you're gonna be paying a lot more for your dollar, but you gotta think about it as an investment. So from five to 10 years from now, how often are you gonna be buying winter coats? So next one on my list is Canadian Goose. And it is known for this environment of being cold. We don't live in igloos out here, but Canadian Goose will definitely keep you warm and definitely has different various styles. So when it comes down to Canadian Goose, they have the regular label and they have the black label. I personally like the black label a lot, not only when it comes down to their superficial, not only when it comes down to their innovative designs, but the material they use for their products. When it comes down to goose down, goose feathers, and the products and how it's produced, Canadian Goose is that company. Canadian Goose is what a lot of people out here know and love, and Canadian Goose is what you'll see every winter. So whether it be from the puffers to the winter coats, Canadian Goose is known for a reason and the price point is an expression of that. Not only an expression of status out here, but at the same time, it's gonna hold you down when it comes down to like negative 30 degrees. So you're looking for a company that will actually hold you down when it comes down to the freezing cold out here, Canadian Goose is that. Next one on my list is Stone Island and Stone Island is an Italian luxury brand and for me personally, I don't know what it is about being British but in England everyone's rocking Stony, whether it be the artists, public figures or celebrities. When it comes down to Stony Island, it is that status symbol of luxury but at the same time it's iconic with the badge. For, for me personally, I love to invest into a Stony piece. I actually don't have a puffer jacket by them but from my history and my knowledge of their products and what they produce, when it comes down to organic dyes in the material, one of one collections and exclusivity on their products, it really does hold up and they really do stand for something a lot more than you'll find at a mall. So at the end of the day, Stone Island is that brand that you guys should definitely check out. I like them a lot have various collections of colors and styles, but at the same time, they're still well known around the world, but at the same time, if you want that exclusive content, if you guys want that exclusive material, Stone Island is that place to pick yourself up a piece. So when it comes down to luxury lines, I gotta put Stone Island in the A category. So next one on the list is Columbia. Columbia is an outdoor company just like Patagonia, but Columbia is kind of a little more focused with the outdoors. When it comes down to skiing and snowboarding, you're going to find a lot more products based in that atmosphere. So when it comes down to puffers, yeah, they're going to keep you warm, they're going to keep you insulated, but also Columbia isn't a brand, but I know there's a lot of people love. I experienced Columbia puffers and jackets before and they're extremely insulated and that's something I really do like about them. I like those brands where you don't have to wear like a long sleeve or a hoodie underneath, but you can just wear a simple t-shirt. Those are the brands that are top notch for me. So let me know if you guys have experienced Columbia jackets before. Put your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Next one on the list is Acne Studio. They are coming out from Amsterdam. And when it comes down to this brand, they are really innovative. They are rebellious. They don't always go against the grain about fast fashion and culture. So they're kind of like the anti-culture company. But when it comes down to Acne Studio, I have tried out one of the puppers before, but it isn't really a practical jacket. But at the same time, when it comes down to design and like visuals, they are phenomenal when it comes down to that. Point. If you're looking for something that's a little more fashionable, you're a city goer like myself, and you just want to have something that's a name brand and you want something that's stylish, not many people have, Acne is that place for you. I tried an Acne jacket out in Whole Run Through and it was amazing. Super oversized, it was just 
it was just big and bold. It was so sick. That's what I like about that company. Acme holds it down when it comes down to the innovation of their jackets, that style, that flair. And that's what you need when you're looking for fashion. So I'm gonna put Acne in the D category for that reason. And yet again, it's more of a fashion-based brand. The next company I wanna talk about is a company called This Is Never That. It's a new brand I actually found recently, but the cool thing about this brand is that they focus on the basic principles of what jackets or garments would need so this is never that is an emerging company i can't rank it too high because it's still evolving if you guys haven't seen it like myself from some local areas in toronto they do have some in their retail stores of boutiques so you can find them at nomad you can find them at livestock and even on the e-commerce there's great designs great styles really really cool patterns as well so this is never that is that company at the same time they do have down fill so yeah it's gonna keep you warm but also stylish so that's on the verge of style and a little bit of warmth. So if you're a city goer like myself, the D category is for you, especially when it comes down to the designs. So next one on the list is Raining Champs. They stem from Vancouver. I'm from the West Coast myself, so that hits close to home, but they do specialize in a lot of athleisure wear. But at the same time, I'm noticing the company expand their horizons into outerwear when it comes down to jackets and like hoodies and stuff like that. So what I want to put into the D category is Raining Champs. So from that being said, spanning into like jackets, it's cool to see this brand emerging because I see a lot of potential in this brand and they are dope when it comes down to the essentials. So next one on the list is Uniqlo. Uniqlo is based from Japan. And the thing I like about Uniqlo is that they carry all the essential pieces that you personally would need. I get all my essentials from Uniqlo before. I've made numerous videos on Uniqlo when it came down to the smart pants, when it came down to jackets, even collaborations with White Mountaineering. If you're looking for something that has a little bit more quality for your money and actually has a lot more varieties. So Uniqlo is that place. It definitely has topped over H&M for the years, but Uniqlo has a great options in terms of winter jackets. So I have to put Uniqlo in the E category and keep in mind guys, this does not mean this is the best, this is the worst. This is in terms of rankings, designs, and accessibility of these pieces. So. I gotta put Uniqlo in the E category. The next one on my list is Cause, well, essentially the big brother company of H&M. Uh, Cause is more specifically designed with an innovative, minimalistic approach to a redefined H&M. So if you can imagine that, then you imagine Cause. That's, a, that's essentially what it is. I've been in the store before, very, very minimal, not many things around, but when there are, there's a lot of it. And the cool thing about Cause is that they are specifically focused on design and material. So you kind of get one-on-one -on -one pieces, especially when you start wearing them out. People would ask you, but where have you gotten that piece? So I gotta put that in the E category because I feel like that's where it rightfully belongs. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on that. Now let's travel back to Spain. The next company I want to talk about is called Zara. Zara is known all around the globe, but yet again, I want to talk about what they are and what they do and if the jackets are appropriate for you. So Zara is a fast fashion company. The thing with Zara is that it has amazing designs, it has amazing prints. Yet again, it's at mass production, so a lot of people will be wearing it amongst your environment, but at the same time, I believe it's a lot more better options than, for example, H&M. They have a lot more trendier items, a lot more trendier styles, a lot more influence within the European culture, at the same time as South American culture. So you can definitely find a lot of interesting, innovative pieces. And if you're looking for something on a budget, definitely check out Zara because they do have puffers there. When it comes down to material and durability of holding up, it's not gonna last you as long as these other companies I've mentioned in the tier system, but it's something where it's a great start. So if you wanna find something from there, Definitely encourage you guys to pick it up. Check it out online as well. They have great styles. Actually, a lot more options, obviously. A lot more options online. But definitely check out something from Zara because they have a lot of things you guys can go for. So next one on Bliss is a Montreal-based brand and it is called Rugsack. I actually been to the store before in Square One and it was amazing. Like the materials, I'm not sure if it's still there, but I, from my experience from being there, putting on a jacket, I'm telling you, it feels like you're in a balloon. Like you're really just insulated like this. You're just like, 
You're like, wow, this is actually quite warm and it's quite fulfilling. The innovations of the design is always like far out there. It just, it just makes sense for what it is. So when it comes down to the designs and patterns, black is like their foundation color and they basically expand everything from there. So the rebellious nature of the fur, the lavish oversize of the coat, um, the insulation of how it keeps you warm is super, super cool. I got to put that in the A category because I believe it's top tier amongst the rest. And that's something that you guys can check out. And alongside Rucksack, I got to put Woolrich. Woolrich is a brand from Pennsylvania and they focus on the hardy American you know, American wool. And they really focus on their materials and they really care about the long longevity. Another one you guys can check out, I always saw a lineup for it, but I'm actually gonna go check that out in store in the next couple of days, and that is Moose Knuckle. Moose Knuckle is a brand that's well known. I personally, did I gravitate to Moose Knuckle off the rip? Not so much, but I think I have to experience it within the store. Yet again, it's like Rub Sack, Rub Sack, where it's a lot more of that rebellious nature of the innovation, and really this like outsider feel of their materials. It, but at the same time, it does gravitate to people in the city. So I gotta put Moose Knuckle in the A category because that's where it rightfully belongs. So last but not least on the list, I gotta put it at the double S category and that is North Face. North Face is coming out of San Francisco. The thing I like about North Face is their jackets. So I had everything from the parkas to the Nupsy jackets and I gotta say, in terms of design, image, functionality, it's probably my favorite jacket so far. I'm definitely gonna have a collection of them throughout the years, but I gotta say the 1996 Nupsy Puffer is probably my all-time favorite. I gotta put it at the double S category and that is North Face. I wear that jacket every season. It doesn't matter how cold it gets. It always keeps me warm and stylish. It is a bit shorter than your typical long jacket. So make sure to wear an oversized t-shirt or an oversized hoodie with it. But if you guys want to see a video on that specifically, I made a video right there. You guys can check out. But at the same time, I'm definitely going to review a lot more of these jackets to teach you guys how to style them in different colors and let me know what jacket you guys personally own. And let me know what you guys top three companies are for yourself and from your own experience. Yet again, guys, thank you guys for watching this video, We're talking about the ranking systems of the best winter coats for you guys to pick up. And I hope you guys found this content useful. Also drop your questions in the comment section down below. Not only myself, but the community will definitely answer your questions. Yet again, guys, thank you guys for watching Arcway, home of men's wear and styling. My name is Tulu, your fashion consultant, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, one more thing is to check out arcway.com so you guys can stay up to date with exclusive content with the newsletters of updates and contests. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely subscribe to the newsletter, but at the same time, thank you guys for watching this content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.